Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to make a clover. For that I have some green colored clay. I mixed this one with a uh, half light green and half dark green clay. So uh, it is kind of an in-between green color. And I made this teardrop and I'm cutting out this little um, piece at the bottom and I am putting some of this light green clay where I cut this little piece out. So I'm just going to cut around this little piece so that I have this um, triangular shape that goes into the teardrop here is light green. So you see it's, just, it's kind of like a little house here where the bottom is uh, pointed. So it looks like this and then I'm just connecting the two pieces here. Put that away, we don't need that. You don't want to roll this cane, you want to stretch it carefully. And I'm stretching this one until it's around 2 cm long. And I'm using my cutting mat as the guide for these 2 cm. Then I'm just going to cut them in half. And I'm putting them together as you see right here. Now I'm going to stretch them one more time till around the two uh, centimeters and then cut them into two halves and put them together. This time I'm making it into a cane so that I can roll it out and roll it really thin and fine. But I'm doing it very carefully so I'm sure that everything is really good connected. Just squeezing it a bit, rolling it a bit and squeezing it a bit. When I'm happy with the size of the cane, that means the thickness of the cane, I'm going to cut it in thin, thin slices for the leaves for this little clover. I used the end pieces of the snake for the little stem. I just took a tiny piece of it and rolled it into the little stem. And here is a little clover. If you have the mold from the little leaves that we made a few um, months ago actually I think, then you can use that for making the leaves of the clover a little more interesting. I will leave a link in the info box below from where you can find how to make the mold. Uh, so you can see that one and uh, then you can make another little clover with that. When you have made all your small clovers, you are going to bake them according to the instruction on the clay. So here are all the small clovers that we made, one by one. I actually think they came out really, really cute. I have this mold for small half domes and I'm using my UV resin to pop a tiny bit of that in the smallest of these and then I will uh, put one of these clovers in there and make a tiny paper weight of this. Mm -hmm. 
After this little paperweight has been in the UV light, you just carefully pop it out. And there you have a tiny paperweight uh, with a tiny clover inside. And that is all for today. I hope you like this little video. I will see you next week.